Hey, hello there, and welcome again. On our previous videos, we learned about variables in the Brion directory system. We learned about widgets and how we can customize them. We also learned about the documentation Brion directory offers and how we can customize our front page based on the widgets we want to use there or the HTML we want to include there. Remember that Brain Directories offers documentation in bootstrap.braindirectories.com slash solution slash categories. You have the whole URL here. And for developers, just change the bootstrap for developers and you got the whole URL here. Where you learn about variables, you learn about widgets, database use, database access, functions, and most of the typical questions you'll get from partners. So, with that said, on this video, you're going to learn about what variables you can use on specific pages based on the information provided on those pages and how you can play with them and access them in order to provide relevant information for those pages. On our example here, we're going to go to the website, our website, we're going to go to search and we're going to play around with the sample listing here which includes a lot of information. Let's view this member's profile page. Here we go. So, if we wanted to edit this page, we could click the magnifying glass here, see all the widgets that are being used there, and note that on previous videos I mentioned that you can actually edit the information here through the uh, membership feature listing and that would edit some of the information here. But here's for the first trick. Any widget on a page can be used to affect information from another widget. So basically, let's give you an example here. I'm gonna edit the header widget here, okay? Oh, better yet, I'm gonna change, let's put a smaller widget here, the footer see that the listing feature here holds all of this information the contact information the company details information but using the footer widget the bootstrap theme footer i'm going to try to customize the information provided here how am i going to do that okay when trying to use one widget to modify the content of or the results of another widget we can only actually change the HTML, JavaScript or CSS code for it. We can't change the PHP. So that would be um, limit of one widget affecting another widget. Nevertheless we're using the footer here to affect the content inside of a membership feature. So let's go to for example company details here we have company details. I'll right click, see the, the code here. I'm gonna right click, select copy unique selector, and then I'm gonna put the unique selector here. And I'm gonna do the following color, I don't know, red. Let's refresh this page, and as you can see, the footer widget, let me show you here, the footer widget, this guy, this little guy here, just affected in a visual way the color of the company details. You can see the changes here, company details, and the footer is down here. So you can see how two widgets that are not one inside of the other, just independent, can affect one or the other on in HTML, CSS, or JavaScript level. We'll now continue to the second part of our video, which is how we can know which variables are used on specific pages. This is not really difficult. You just need to start practicing learning, but I'll give you a really big example. 
say we're in the sample listing and I ask you how many members am I seeing here on this specific pages one right there's only one member here if I went to the search results I would see many members multiple members so the system offers different variables for those cases let's go to the members membership features listing and we're going to go to the profile pages on the profile pages we're going to play around with a specific variable here we're going to play around with user data and user in this case since this is a profile page I'm going to play with user I'm going to print this user array here so I'm going to go to this member and voila you can see I have all the information on that array on the user array of this member and all this information is being used along the whole page now if I grab this same code go to the search results and paste that there what do you think will happen I'm pasting an array that only holds a specific information for one single member if I try to use the same variable on a page that has multiple users you will not see any information additional information shown there why because that variable is not used on this page because that variable is only on pages where only one member is available on pages with multiple users you will not use user you will use user data you will also use the user data on the page loop so it would show the information specific to that user for you let's provide the data here for that specific user on that loop a loop is like this little box here it loops through each member found and then it shows the information for each of them so if I refresh the page now I'm gonna see the information the user data array of information for that specific user you can see here last name Brandon last name nothing um, the dude and so on okay so as you see we have variables for multiple users on specific pages and we have variables for single users on also specific pages like a profile page now what we're gonna do is some a little bit more advanced editing we're going to show a specific information based on the ID of the member we're seeing so let's say let's refresh this let's say that you want to show some additional information for Tom Brandon here on the profile page but only if the user viewing the page is sample listing okay so let's see the the ID of sample listing of our member sample listing it's ID 1 okay and we got Brandon ID 20 let's go to the profile page and now we're gonna start working on this to know the ID of the user that is viewing the page we would need to print out the cookie variable that's offered by PHP so let's do that refresh and we can see a lot of information from the user that's viewing the page in this case sample listing and we can see the user ID here the variable that we want to use from that cookie array 
So now we can create our if statement with that. We now know that cookie user ID, it's the ID of the user that's viewing the page. With that in mind, we can start creating our if statement. There we go. So this information will only show if the user watching the page, viewing the page, is sample listing. So let's refresh that. Admin watching page. But what happens if I log out, search, and then go to Tom Brandon again? You can see I can't see the information here, the new information I added. You can even log in with Tom Brandon. And if I go to his profile page, I won't see it. It will only show if I am sample listing. See? So there are several ways on how you can play around with the information here. Brain Directory offers a very, very flexible way of adding information, customizing information, showing information, retrieving and getting information from the system and from other members. And you can really play around with everything here to set it up the way you want. So with this, we've finished with the first part of the introductory videos and you'll start right away with the challenges provided to you based on the videos you've watched. You'll get challenges that will make you customize the search results, customize the home page, or customize profile pages. Play around with the variables and have a lot of practice related to this in order to start growing with the knowledge for brand directories customizations. Thank you again and have an excellent day.